let me just say that most of the people who watch this video will not like this video. A lot of you will not understand this video, but I'm going to try to talk about this anyway because I think that it's very important. Uh, controlled opposition. When I talk about controlled opposition, I'm talking about control. Now, I, when you have a system where one authority is trying to control the people, it's absolutely necessary to control every aspect of the, the people's lives. And one of the ways you can do this is by controlling information. Now, obviously we have a mainstream media, but with any type of authority trying to gain control over the way we think, the way we see the world, it's inevitable that there has to be some type of backlash. So it seems to me that it, an authority in our society that wanted to actually control us, whether it be the government or whatever, this authority would have to create an alternative uh, to its mainstream media because the mainstream media will present the information in a skewed fashion that uh, supports the power, the authority, the government, and it will support their side of things. And there's inevitable... It's, it's inevitable that there's going to be a backlash, that there's going to be a demand for an alternative. So if you're the government or if you're the authority that's trying to control the society, you have to deal with the fact that there will be an alternative, that there will be a secondary response to what you're doing. So the best way to really control that is to create your own response, to create your own alternative media, because that way you can have the mainstream media project well, you can try to influence the mainstream media to project your official story, and you can have, if you can get some type of control over certain elements within alternative media, you can control how the truth is presented to people. You know, because it's not, it's not good enough just to present the truth to people. It's how you present things. It's not just what you do. It's how you present them. So if you can create an alternative uh, media or parts of the alternative media that presents the truth in a way that discredits the people who are giving out the information, in a way it discredits the truth itself because, you know, if uh, <laughs> if I uh, speak the truth, but you guys find out that, I don't know, I beat my wife or I uh, I steal or, or 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 that or that I simply present myself in a crazy manner where I'm just acting erratic and I'm just uh, being obnoxious and not being very professional. It sort of changes the way you see me and the way you view the information that I'm giving to, giving to you, and it sort of distracts you from the fact that what I'm saying is the truth. It changes your perspective of uh, the truth because you're getting it from a source that you view to be unreliable. So even though you have this alternative media providing information to people over here. If, the, if it's provided in a way that discredits the people who are giving the, the, the information, it sort of sh forces the people in the mainstream, most of the people in the society, to sort of move away from the alternative, and it pushes them back towards the mainstream media. So, okay, why is controlled opposition important? Controlled opposition is very important because if you can create an alternative to your mainstream, then you, the people who would normally gravitate to the alternative will gravitate, gravitate towards your alternative as opposed to a more formidable alternative that actually threatens the system. So it's better to create your own opponent. It's so like uh, being in a video game and being able to control the characteristics of the person you're going to be uh, fighting in a game as opposed to going against an unknown person from somewhere in the world, something, something that may be... Uh, harder to understand something that may be much more formidable so it's a lot easier to deal with your own opponent opponent that you sort of control than uh, to deal with the real opponent so that's the importance of control opposition I'm thinking a lot about the film The Matrix and The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix uh, Revolutions in that you know it would have been interesting if uh, well it was interesting that the machines allowed Zion to be created it allowed that human resistance city to be created. The movie is about a war between uh, the, the androids that the humans created and the humans. And the, they were basically trying to wipe one another out. Well, the androids were, um, the machines were using the humans, their body heat as energy because they couldn't use the sun anymore because there was a nuclear war. Well, they created a system to uh, sort of keep the minds alive called the Matrix. And it was sort of like a virtual world, just like a world we're living in. But people had their own lives and everything, and this kept the cattle, so to speak, the their energy source alive. And they figured out that sooner or later, with this type of system, there's there was bound to be a rebellion. So they decided to uh, sort of create an atmosphere where they can control the rebellion by allowing the, the humans to build up a city, 
but this is how I interpret things, by allowing the humans to build a city to escape, the, some of the humans to escape the matrix and build their own city. And basically, the machines, after it gets to a certain size, the machines will come down and to basically destroy the city. They are providing some type of release. They are providing a release for people within the society who would inevitably backlash against the system. So a lot of ways a system can protect itself is to sort of create its own alternative to itself. That way it can control the opposition. So I think it's very important that we pay attention to where we're getting our information from. And, you know, not all the sources I've used, most of the sources I've used have come from mainstream media uh, because I, I don't want people to be able to say, oh, well, this source is incredible. Well, I'm not saying that alternative media isn't incredible. I'm saying if, when I use the mainstream media sources, not even the people who support the system can really reject that because I'm using the system's own information against it, against its own arguments. So, I'm saying that you have to be careful when you look at alternative media. Every once in a while, I use some alternative sites. Uh, I use some alternative articles, articles from alternative media, and they're not always the best uh, sources. So I'm very careful of that. And a lot of times I ask you guys if this source is any good or not. So what I'm saying is you have to be careful where you're getting the, the other information from because in a system of control, it's very important for the authority to provide its own alternative to itself. So it's, it's really way out there, what I'm talking about, but it's a really clever way of controlling the mind. So I don't know, guys. What do you think about that?